Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Look at that. Sunshine, blue skies, nice puffy white bunny cloud clouds there. No death storms in the midst. I got a bunch of buddies just waiting to go out fishing. How more convenient can that be? But I'll pick some of you guys up later. But otherwise, we're just going to kind of hide out from the wind. We got 10 to 15s blowing out of the east, northeast. So we're just going to tuck along the mangroves and do some fishing. So part two of yesterday, basically. See if I can find that snook. Relax, relax. Everything's going to be okay. Turn one more time and I'll skirm on land. Oh, nope. Look at that. One throw and you'd be full. Beautiful, beautiful bait. Try to get behind them and scare them onto the shore. Well, I'm out here in my snook spot, but uh, the mullet have mudded up the whole area, so zero visibility. It's only a foot deep and it's all just mulleted up. You can see them creating that cloud there and it's just covering the whole flats. Bummer. Moving on. Ooh, I see something over there that I might want. And not that little dinghy. Be good, don't be broken. Please, please, please. Heh heh heh. Looks good from here. Oh. Crack of dawn. Looks in good condition. Crack of dawn paddle sports. It's kind of weird, but it is the metal kind. Somewhat rigid plastic. Looks a little short to me, but can't beat free. Yay! Lose one, find one. Oh yeah, this is perfect. This is kind of what I wanted originally. The biggest reason is having this hard solid plastic I do a lot of stand-up paddling and with that one there it's very flexible head which is good for uh, general regular paddling but uh, when I'm using it for leverage like this it bends so I don't get very good force on it where this one is just solid plus with that aluminum shaft I can beat the crap out of it and not have to worry about it so yeah that is excellent and then I push off a lot, so I need something with a strong, hard plastic. Oh, this is just excellent. Very happy. Got a lot of wind. Not a lot of wind. A little bit of wind. Incoming tide, so not the optimum. So I'm just uh, bottom bouncing my way around. See if we could pick something up. All right, finally got something here. Ooh, putting a bend in the rod. It's always nice. Staying down, feeling kind of jackish. Is it Mr. Jack? I see color. And it's Mr. Jack. Man, these guys. Oh, like a blue runner. Damn, nice blue runner. Inhaled the old paddle tail. Hey, stop. Just want my bait back. Just want my bait back. Man, crushed it. Nice fighters. All we're doing, dropping it straight down. 
since we've got a mild incoming tide, I could uh, basically vertical bounce this guy. And just try to keep it uh, just off the bottom. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Work around. All right. Got one jig in the bottom. Stop, little lane. Oh no, that's a, man, a mutton, baby mutton. Little baby mutton. Whoa, something hit this hard. Oh, all righty, that's different. Let's burn out the old drag. Oh, nice. Stay out of those buoys. All right, let's run them down. I don't want a sleigh ride to Cuba. Take another jump though. Yeah, take me back to the launch. That'll work. Guess I'm done fishing over here now. Oh, there it goes. Dang it! Lost my half ounce jig head. Where'd it break? Oh, the braid broke. All right. Oh, that was different. <laughs> Man, I'm really digging the new paddle. Has no flex. Actually has that ridge there to prevent flex. It's got a good wide base. I can really dig in and I get the full force of the energy pushing me along. Unlike the other one where it's just flimsy. So this is going to be awesome. Digging deep. Well, I'm calling it a day. Early, sun's still out. Kind of an uneventful day. Uh, that ray made things a little different there. That's only the second one of those I've ever caught. Got a couple jumps out of him. Uh, found the new paddle. Very, very beneficial. That's going to help out a lot. So. Otherwise, pretty quick and easy. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.